Hello and welcome to Healthcare Sensor Innovations Cambridge 2019. I'm Ivan DeBacker, Technology Analyst at ID TechX, and I'm here with Dr. Victor Higgs from uh, Applied Nanodetectors. He's a speaker in our gas sensors session. Thank you very much for, for speaking with us. Um, would you like to tell us a little bit about what you uh, came here to talk about? Yes, Applied Nanodetectors is developing a home monitoring solution to help people with asthma to manage their condition. And it's a device based on breath analysis. It's easy to use for all kinds of patients. You just breathe into the device. We monitor biomarkers which are able us to predict when people have an asthma attack. Um, and this can be linked into a um, mobile app. And that software, disease management software, can be used as a daily process to manage the condition. So it's all about self-care, using the device daily and helping them to understand when they may have an attack. The biomarkers increase with the onset of an asthma attack and the idea is they would get feedback directly on their app and there could be a simple intervention which is linked to their action plan where they take different medication to prevent them having an asthma attack. So the key thing here, it's all about home monitoring, all about mm -hmm. self-care and the key thing with chronic conditions like asthma, 80% of healthcare costs are linked to hospitalizations. So the key thing is giving the patient the tools to help them get a good quality of life and manage their condition very effectively. That's of course very, very important. Uh, so is, is the intention kind of to have the, the user or the patient use it kind of at um, given uh, time de times of day or just when they start feeling uh, symptoms perhaps? Originally, um, I think the protocol for um, specific asthmatics, um, uh, we're targeting look at people that have very severe asthmatics, um, severe asthma. These are people that can not very easily identify their change in their condition and predict when they have an attack. Okay. But unfortunately with severe asthmatics, um, about 80% of the health costs are linked to these 20% of people that have asthma, who have severe asthma. Um, so these people really need something to help them to manage that condition more effectively. And um, so the objective would be they would use this re initially on a daily process. Mm -hmm. um, and the key thing here is using that information um, collected over a period of time as a longitudinal data set. And this data set could then also be used during their asthma review and also by clinicians to review groups of patients to understand is there an issue, for example, a local issue related to air pollution that could be triggering the asthma. Okay. Secondly, it can be used to help optimise treatment, so by comparing different patients um, on different medications. So it's all about um, daily monitoring, uh, longitude of data, review of that data, um, helping them to understand when they may become ill, prevent them becoming ill, but fundamentally it's giving the clinician, clinicians the data to make informed decisions to help the patients improve their quality of life. Absolutely. And in terms of making it accessible to the patient, is this yeah. something that they have to go through their healthcare provider to, to, to get, or can they just uh, acquire it uh, at, at, on their um, own? At this stage, um, last year, um, uh, the NICE came up with some recommendations to use breath testing as an objective test in the asthma review, which is really exciting. Mm -hmm. So what this means is a recognition of breath analysis being used in the um, healthcare setting. So we're working with a number of different um, healthcare providers, hospitals and GPs in the UK, and next year we're excited to start rolling this out um, for use, but it would actually be something uh, focused initially through the primary care setting, um, picking certain patients that have this very severe condition and trying to encourage them, train them and get them used to use that device to help improve their quality of life and stop them you know, going to hospital and, in, and also make sure they're on the correct medication. Great, great. That's very interesting. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, just just uh, one more question for you. What, yeah. what are your thoughts on the uh, Healthcare Sensors Innovation event so far? I think it's been an exciting event. Um, in, in the, although it's been a very short event, what's been excellent, I think because it's small, it gives you an access point to virtually everyone. I've managed to meet lots of different uh, um, innovative companies. You've got a chance to speak to the speakers. And also what's great is actually... Um, a number of end users here as well, so it's, it's great to see that and I think going forward it's something that we'll be considering to exhibit, um, but as I said before, next year we'll be, we'll be looking at um, all the ID Tech X solutions because they're key for us to launch these innovative sensors, uh, not just for the healthcare area but also for other applications and the ID Tech X is brilliant for 
getting exposure to for new application areas for our, for our technology. Great, well that's really okay. good to hear. Thank you okay. very much for speaking to us. Okay. You're welcome. And uh, please join us at our next Healthcare Sensor Innovations event in San Jose in March 2020 and also uh, in Cambridge in a year's time, September 2020. And for more information, please visit our website, healthcarecensorinnovations.com. Thank you.